Welcome, citizens of Sunnyvale, to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the board game by Jasco and 20th Century Fox. This is a cooperative game that plays, I believe, up to four players. Uh, it's 46 minutes and it's ages 13 and up, and we are going to go back and relive our childhood and play a game based on a TV show that uh, is one of six players. Right? One of six players. Uh, that is a classic, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yep. I grew up watching Buffy. <laughs> All three of us have at least watched a couple seasons, and by that I mean they watched everything and I've seen some of it. I was probably more into Smallville, but mm -hmm. nevertheless, uh, we've set up the game already, we've read the rules, and this will be a first time playthrough of the game. Buffy will be uh, played by... Pally. That's right. Xander will be played by me, and we have Rupert played by Max. That's right. Giles. <laughs> Everybody knows him by Giles. Yeah. He's the librarian dude. Yeah. Yes. You are Main the character. girl who always the slayer. Like gets to kill everything, and I am. I believe I remember him. He's kind of like a whiny, like scared dude, actually, isn't he? Um, that was in love with Buffy for the majority of the yeah, show. Yeah, he's like the comedic relief. He was in love with Buffy. <laughs> he was for a little while. Did yeah, he ever get Buffy? No. Why do I want to play him then? I don't know. He's fun. He's very fun. He does get a girlfriend later. Very serious girlfriend. Is she cute? Yeah. Anya. All right. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'll place your little action tokens She's over here. She's a demon. Oh, uh, well, I mean, uh, I've been told that a few of my... <laughs> a, he, a few of them. Yeah, yeah a few he, girlfriends? he went through quite a few different uh, ladies. Well, right now we're talking. Maybe <laughs> okay. I'm starting to like the Xander guy a okay, little more. Okay, that was his main. Uh, my character Signature starts off in Sunnydale High, which is where he is. Callie's is going to start off over here in the summer residence because apparently you get your own house, but I have to live at the school. And then <laughs> you are going to be at the uh, UC Sunnydale, so like the university college, basically. Which it's makes sense. High school. Uh, Sunnydale yeah. High, and then the UC is the is a oh, college, and you are. Yeah, I was researching. Yeah, you're a, there. you're yeah. A, you're always there in the library looking at the books. Maybe I'll watch the first Buffy tonight. I don't know if I want to. No, let's, <laughs> let's skip to like season four. <laughs> really? I don't know. Um, uh, we've Where's also there? flipped over the first uh, monster of the week because in the show monsters. Would pop up every week yep. and you have to deal with them yep. and it's like a, it's, it's their in, it's a, yeah episodic yeah. where you fight the monster but then there's this like overlaying arch villain and our arch villain for today's game is the master uh he's a master at uh croquet and uh, pottery oh, that's the weekly one right yeah. this is the weekly the, the yeah. master is our big bad yeah he, and he's a master of croquet oh, and pottery yeah, I thought you were talking about no 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 okay. so we have to defeat him in those two categories mm -hmm. she did not hear what i said at all mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to... <laughs> Croquet and pottery, master. <laughs> and, okay, so uh, we fight these guys. But there's also events that pop through, right? Uh, the events are going to trigger demons and vampires across the city of Sunday. So uh, we each played one down, and uh, I just went ahead and put them on the bottom of the deck. But they, I just added all the demons and the vampires that were placed down. And sometimes there's going to be, like, humans as well that pop down, but we just didn't see any of those. On our turns, we will take an action of our choice. Whenever we take an action, we flip it over. Boop, boop, boop. And then we're going to perform one of our basic actions here. We can do any of them except for the special one. However, if we use our special, we can do any action and, uh, or the special. But whenever we do a special action, we flip over an event and do all the things the event says. Okay? Once, we've all, once I take an action, you take an action, she takes an action, we keep going around until all the actions are done, adding events if they come. Uh, then we'll go on to the next phase, which is the bad guys. They're going to move. They're going to defeat enemies. Uh, they're going to defeat our townies. And we're also going to possibly take damage take from wound. them. And that's our tracker here. Mm, if, we, if that gets filled up, we basically lose. Yeah. Our objective is to get from uh, one weekly monster to the next, uh, uncovering new plots. When three plots get triggered, the bad guy pops out. And we need to defeat him like we normally would defeat a monster the of the week. The big bad. Summoning little events. Yeah. Uh, and that's basically the idea of the game. Uh, I haven't played this before, uh, but I've heard about it, and it sounded fun, and I like the series, and these two really like the series. So let's get into Buffy the Vampire Slayer by Jasko. We can do things like search, fight, use the locations ability, which is listed here on the board, uh, or move. 
So those are what we can do with our as our main basic action. Then we each have a special action. Um, so my special action is to perform a move action and a fight action in any order. Uh, after I perform my fight action, I stun all baddies in my location. However, one thing to note, whenever you use your special action, will actually trigger uh, events. So more more little baddies could, could come out <laughs> as well. My special action is special knowledge. Reveal four items. Choose to keep and discard the others. But I also have a passive, which Giles can always hold one extra item. So I can hold three items from my special knowledge, which will help us in defeating our foes. Alright, and that's, that's important for, ah. for some of the... Um the bads will have to baddies will have to discard certain items in order to defeat them. And I'm Xander Harris, the uh, vampire slayer Assistant? of the series. No, he's the main character. <laughs> Psychic. <sighs> no. And he <laughs> chooses another what? character. <laughs> Wanna be? I choose another character. You and that character, in any order, each perform a basic action without spending an action token. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. See so your support. No, I use. I still use my action, and I give you one to assist me in the gameplay. You are welcome. <laughs> Sounds like we should call this Xander yeah, the Vampire Slayer. In my, you're in my using opinion. a basic action, which you would normally get to do anyway. But I get to give you guys one as well. <laughs> yeah. So if you ever it. use a special action as a basic, you'll be sad <laughs> that you just didn't let me give you a special action as a basic for free. That's right, Xander Harris the Vampire Slayer. I'm pretty much ready to go, I think. So, yeah, what's the... Or this is the, this is the Monster of the Week, which is right mm-hmm. here. Yeah. Um, it says Der, kin, Der, Der Kinderstad appears at Sun, Summer's Residence. Mm-hmm. Um, a character can only slay Der Kinderstad with, the, with their last action of the round. And it requires a, like, holy water and a potion. And then you, after you have those two things, you can flip over the uh, action deck. And if you get the symbol of either the all-seeing eye or a, uh, what's this, pentad prism, the pentagon? or the Pentagram. The star, pentagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you get one of those, you'll defeat this. Okay. It'll leave a clue token, a new monster of the week will come out, mm-hmm. and it'll trigger one of the boss's plots. You'll rinse and repeat that three times. Defeat all three plots after the bad guys come out, after the third one, and you win the game. So three monsters of the week, then unlock three clues, and then after that, the boss will trigger and we'll have to deal with the boss, I think. How do you plan to research something as ill-defined as the first? I have the best plan ever. Yeah, well, I already rechecked the basement. So, uh, yes, it will be a challenge indeed. And this has to be defeated by the last action of all of us. Now my question is, we, I know how to stun the vampires. How do we actually slay them? Okay, attempt to slay a monster yeah, of the week. Yeah, you can fight. Okay, no, I can, I can slay a monster of the week or a big bad, but how do I actually slay just the little demons and vampires? I know I can fight stun them. S- oh. My, I have a wooden stake. Fight to death one vampire in your location. Okay, so you can so. actually defeat them with with items then it seems yeah. like. Each time you perform okay. fight action of your special ability, you may check and you can slay a baddie. Okay, so you can check. you can actually yeah. kill all the baddies. What do I get to do? I can stun a vampire and Attempt stun to a vampire. slay the monster of the week. Okay, so I have a new action. My new action is I can fight to stun one vampire in any location. Okay, that's cool. And then I also have the effect if I can dis if I discard this card on my turn, I can discard this to stun one vampire in any location without using an action. But I lose my basic action with yeah. that. Yeah. And we can only have 3 item cards. Yes, three three items and or uh, relics or artifacts. Okay. Oh, this count. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, but you can discard the items so you can get new ones. Yeah. And you will be when you have to uh, defeat the monster of the week. Okay. okay? I can hold so additional items. So am I items, safe? So. There is the question. Uh, at the end of the round is when they'll fight back. Is, right? Yes, when they're gonna the monsters are gonna activate, and we might even turn evil. So that's yeah, a possibility yeah, there's as well. Yeah, op- opportunity for that to happen. But it only lasts a round. Yes, so let's see. Every round after the final action is flipped face down, all the remaining baddies will activate, along with the monster of the week and the big bad, if he exists. Mm -hmm. When they do, the big bad activates first, followed by the monster of the week, and then all the rest of the baddies. 
and uh, you'll check to reveal their plot cards, and we'll explain how that all works. But yeah, you don't want to be in a location with a with a baddie um, by yourself. You'll take damage on our track there, and uh, you also don't want the baddie to have a clear line of sight towards a um, a civilian because mm-hmm. civilians on that monster track, the apocalypse track, is worse than damage. Because really damage we can save. Yeah, but like we c- this, the location's ability will let us. Uh, remove wounds from the apocalypse track. Ooh, can we use? Oh, we can use locations, Billy, with one of our actions. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you can go ahead and start choosing action, and I'm guessing you action, then I action, then he actions, right? We go back yes. and forth. So I think I'm gonna search okay. first. So I draw two item cards. Okay, you get two of these guys. But keep. I can only keep one. So I have to discard one, or well, you could use the use you could it. use that effect first. I can't. It's just one vampire in my location. I don't have one. Oh, why didn't you move first, then well, discard, then? Okay. <laughs> um, so we're going to need... Uh, uh, okay, none of those matter for what we need, Yeah. I think, sadly. But yes, as far as items go, as far as I'm aware, you only get three of them total. And that includes, yes, unless otherwise noted, you can only hold three items and artifact cards in any combination at any time. If you ever have more, discard down to three. But if you're playing a two-player game, the helm is four. Because you get a bonus. You get that uh, Slayer's Scythe Mm -hmm. uh, because we're playing easier mode. Easier mode. Okay, let me discard piles down here. Okay, so that was your action. My turn. Okay, so I'm over here. I've got a vampire there and a demon. Um... Fight to stun a vampire in any location. That's pretty good. Do I want to stun my vampire? Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I will actually search first because I actually have two slots, so I won't actually lose a card. So I don't think that'll be as bad of a play for me. So this is going to give me a wooden stake and magical supplies. So now I have magical supplies and I have holy water, which is what I need in order to defeat a uh, Kerr. Or Der Kins- the monster Kindestad. <laughs> you know that monster? I don't you did remember. watch the show. I did, nope. yeah. There's there a monster every crazy. episode. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I pass. I am going to use my action. I'm going to move myself over to the yeah. magic box, get myself a little more local to everyone else. That way I can lend in my support. That's a good idea. I'm going to move, use my next action to move here. I have the music still playing, so I turned oh. it off. It, it, was, it was soft, <laughs> it was so hopefully you guys background. can still hear me, but yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay, so what should I do? Do you think I should leave the uh, demons and vampires alone and move? And when you move, you can move to any location. Yeah, you're going to need to... Oh, you, no, you have to go... Where the arrows are, right? No, uh, no. Uh, only monsters move that way. Oh, okay. Then I want to move. It here. says move to any location. Is what move does. Yeah. So yeah, you can, you should be able to move to any location that you want. Move. Place your character on any location. That's all it says. So I imagine you can go anywhere you want. Um, should I move to any location? Should I deal with this guy here? Yeah, it looks like you're the one that's gonna have to go deal with him. Okay, so I'll flip this guy over. And I will move over to Summer's residence. I'm coming to see if Summer's is home. No, oh, that's Buffy. Hey, Buffy, you want to go on a date or something? <laughs> Where are you? You're not home. Oh my gosh, it's Dirk Kinstad. No! Go, Max. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the search action and allow to draw cards. That way I can get something good. And I have the cross and weapons. All right, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fight. So, um, I'll do. Should I do regular? Yeah, I'll do regular. Um, fight to dust a vampire. Does that use the second item? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna fight. Yep. Dust Goodbye. This. And then I can discard this to defeat the demon as well. Uh, yeah. Alright, and these guys are over here. Yep, and you just place the weapons in the item discard pile. And whenever the decks run out, you just reshuffle them. 
All right, my turn. Now, sadly, I'm going to have to try and um, defeat this guy here. Now, there's a cost to it, so I'll start with my basic action. I'll flip that over, and I need to have both items, which I do. I've got my holy water and my magic supplies, so I'm going to take these guys here and discard them. Now, after that, it's not guaranteed that I defeat the monster of the week. In fact, I have to reveal an event card, and I need to make sure that it is either one of these two symbols. And if it's not, I can either choose to let it go, or I can choose to lose an action for the rest of the game to defeat it. So please do not mess with us. The all-seeing eye, Yay. which is the symbol, and thusly, I have defeated the monster of the week. Uh, when this goes here, we then drop a clue token down. And the one of our actions will let us, I believe, search the clue token. Can search as a basic action to remove the clue token from play. Okay, so it actually cost it's me an action. Search, okay, yeah. I see. But it doesn't say when the do not draw a new monster of the week. Oh, wait. When? Okay. Oh, that's for the third one. Yes. But yeah, when the second monster of the week is... When the monster of the week is defeated, draw a new one. Put it into play. Yes. Okay. And this is so going to go three, over to um, City Hall. City Hall is right here. <sighs> He's with a demon. And this is Mr. Trick appears at City Hall. Oh, you need the cross and what? I believe that is garlic. Garlic. Ooh, uh, technically I forgot. I can't actually defeat the monster of the week. I was technically supposed to defeat it with my last action. Just FYI. The last monster was supposed to be defeated. Oh, but you used your... You didn't use your special yet. Okay. Not that it necessarily I matters, but I will not search with this action to make it fair. Okay. Um, okay, and so... The, this guy here, though, says, Before a character can move into Mr. Trick's location, they must flip an unused action token face down or discard one item. And you need a crucifix and garlic to defeat him. Okay. Uh, and then it's your turn, Max. All right. I'm going to use my third action. Yep. For right now, I'm going to move over to Sunningdale High. Okay. Is that Are it? you sure? Um, I can fight vampires. I was going to go there. I can as well, but I just... It's gonna I can have to be move on and my fight is my next action. You can move and fight? Yeah. Well, I can go here, I guess. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I can take on those guys next. Okay. Special action. <coughs> move and fight. And when you fight, you actually dust the vampire. Yep. Okay, dust it. Bye-bye. Vampire. Did you use your special? Um, yes. Then activate an event. Oh no. Let's see what happens. From the Sunnydale Press. A vampire lurks at Rosedale Cemetery. Rosedale Cemetery. Okay. A demon terrorizes you see Sunnydale. Sunnydale. If there are any vampires adjacent to a character, they move on to into the character's location. Well, well yeah, just have the vampire okay. with me. Okay, that's it. Not so, not so shabby. Um, hmm. Okay, I will use my special. And instead of searching, because technically I'd be a turn behind, I gotta do something else. I will search, but I will not search for the clue. I'll just search items. Right. And wait, my special will also allow somebody to take an extra action. Do you want a special action, or do you do you want an action, or you want an action? If you let me, I can get rid of those suckers. Or a special action. No, no, normal no, action. Regular. My special gives me a regular and you a regular. Yeah, I can. Uh... Do you want a regular action? Yeah. Okay. No, you well, just get one right now. Yeah. All right. I will fight. With the vampire, and I can discard a card at. Well, discarding a card isn't an action. No, it's that's free. separate. So do you? You have you get one action. You get to fight, search, use, or move. What yeah. would you like to do? I'm gonna fight. Use the cross on the vampire. Okay. You don't, don't have to discard you don't it. Use it. Oh. Yeah. You don't discard it. Yeah. You get a, this becomes a new action that you can use. It's mm -hmm. called fight. It says that you can move. 
uh, fight to move one vampire in any location, one space. Uh, the other one here lets you slay a demon on your location, oh, and this one lets you stun a, de a demon on any in any location. Yeah. So I'll you probably want to slay the demon. That's perfect. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And now my I'm done. I gave you the action. Now it is your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, you can when you use that special, you get to use your search, uh, fight, or use or move. In addition, you can also discard these if you want to do whatever they say. Oh, did you do an event for your special? Oh, that's true. So I'm going to do one. A vampire in the bronze and a townie in city hall needs help. And then place this card beside the game uh -oh. board. Townie in the city hall. Uh, place this card beside the game board until the end of this round. Vampires deal an additional wound when they attack characters this round. Okay. You put a vampire next to me. <laughs> All right, my special. What's it do? Is reveal four items. And remember, you don't have to use a special as a special ability either. You can use it as a regular one. Yeah. Because you have full item. Well, I can hold an additional item, so I can hold up to four items okay. because of my passive. Okay. So. What does your special do? My special is reveal four, four items, choose two, discard the others. Yeah, I use that. Yeah. So I'm going to move myself into. Now, if you move into there, gonna get hurt. before a character can move in there, they have to flip an unused action token face down or discard an item. Hmm. So if you want to move in there, you have to discard one of your items. Vampires are going to deal an additional token when they attack characters this round, too. And remember, when you move into a townie's space, you protect that townie. So you'll take damage before the townie will die. Which will come in handy. Yep, so, I mean, you just use something. It's okay. Let him, let him do what he wants to do. Okay. Yeah. So we don't spend hours. I will protect the townie. Okay, you move. Would you like to do it? Would you like to use any of your items? Per chance, you can use the discard effect on your items to do a thing. Mm -hmm. There's That's three funny. options. Yeah. Can I discard multiple cards? Yeah, they're free. All right. They're free actions. The I'm other free worried. actions in the game is if a player is with you in the same space, you can trade items with each other. Got it. So I'm going to discard my weapon, which will allow me to slay one demon in my location without an action mm -hmm. and using my tome which is during your turn you may discard this card to draw one artifact card without using an action it's uh, pretty good oh, oh, rocket oh. launcher a rocket launcher seems pretty good yeah okay and we've all run out of actions the yes. round is and over. i need to do an event card. you do yes yeah. so flip over an event and let's hope that the monsters are far away a vampire lurks at Rosedale Cemetery. So we're going to get another vampire here. That's actually okay. Oh, even he, though he didn't use his special? He did use his special. Oh, he did. Yeah. Whenever you flip over, whenever you use your special oh. token, you have to okay. do an event. Okay. And a townie needs help at UC Sunnydale. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. That gets discarded. And this ends the round. So if you would, Callie, so go ahead and... We don't want to do our specials at the end of the round. Because townies come out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're learning. Yeah. Um, so end of the every round. Every round after the final action tokens flip face down, all of the remaining baddies activate. Yep. So little uh, big bad first, then baddie the monster of the week. Here. Yep. And he's going to... Kill an unprotected townie, if that's possible. No. Protected. Protected. That's going to wound a character in the location. So, a wound goes on the apocalypse track. Yep. We have ways to remove it. Oh! Uh -oh. Dang you, Mr. Tricky. Trick. Okay. Vampire. Oh. Du, 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 du. Then each baddie that does not share a location with the townie. Oh, no. So, townie will. Oh. He's gonna. So this is, oh. this is a townie that's yeah. got a demon, so she's yeah. gonna go over here. You guys research the Bogar demon. I wanna know where it is. When I find it, I'm going to make him pay for taking that kid's life. I'll make him die in ways he can't even imagine. That probably would have sounded more commanding if I wasn't wearing my yummy sushi pajamas. Okay. Uh huh. 
Yeah, now the baddies activate. Yep. So that guy killed him. These two are going to move towards either adjacent location with unprotected townie. Nope. Protected townie. Nope. Character or nearest townie. Two. Demon move two. Vampire move one. One and oh, two. Oh, so he already, he already activated. Oh, because he killed Yeah, okay, so, so these guys are going to move one because they're going to, towards did She her. hit you, didn't he? hit you, didn't, right? didn't they? Correct? Yeah, he's going to hit me. So he hits you for two. And then this moves here, and these move to here. Uh, protected county goes first, then character. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here it goes. All right. Yep. And then we flip our things over. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Serious business. Serious business yeah. mode. <laughs> Okay. Do I always go and first? No, or? this gets passed to me now. All right. So I've got a ton of stuff. The first thing I'm going to do is search. I'm going to search this. This is going to go away. Yep. And this is we're going to reveal a plot card from the bad guy, okay. which stays in play forever. This is going to get discarded now. Did the Did you make sure the vampire did, dealt two damage to you? Because all vampires do two damage. Oh. Okay. No. Okay. And you thought me. I didn't do anything. Don't blame me. <laughs> all right. So you flip a plot over. What does it do? Something grab I can't it. Read it. <laughs> mm -hmm. The plot. Vampire moves one additional location during monster activation. Wired item, stake, and holy water. Okay, so vampires get plus one movement. Okay, vampires move one additional location. That's such a weird way of saying they get plus one movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and we can't defeat this until we get all three of them out. Okay, yep. so we gotta go for this one now. Um, but I just searched. That was my action. I have these guys here, so I can go ahead and discard this to dust a vampire in my location. Discard this to draw an artifact without using an action. It's pretty good. I can discard this to dust a vampire. In my, so I got two. I can dust vampires basically. And this one here. Should I discard this for an artifact? Ooh, good. They're pretty powerful. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Real quick, like just to see what I get. Another free action you can do on your turn is trade with someone who's in the same location. Exactly, yes. So you can get the items to defeat. I have an orb of Nezla Khan. Your fight actions target an additional baddie in your location. After you perform a fight or search action, you may move to an adjacent location. When your character is wounded, after placing a wound token on the apocalypse track, you discard this artifact. Wow. So I can hit two baddies. And if I perform a fight or search action, I may move into an adjacent location. So I actually should have discarded that first, taken this. <laughs> then I could have searched and moved. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I'm done. I think you should focus on getting the items for this baddie. Cause he I should. Can, I can come and get that vampire there. Honestly, I can take them both out with the rocket launcher. Well, you can't take yeah. out this one. Your character special... Let's use search, search for, for four cards. Items. Yes, I'm aware. You're the librarian with the librarian ability, and so the librarian should be gathering cards to defeat things. Mm -hmm. I can take it out with this. You already have one of them, too. I can take it out easy. So. The All vampire right. slayer <laughs> deals with vampires. The book person deals with books. <laughs> all right, all right. Draw all right. four and pick two. And get the combination we need for this since you're already in the location to deal with it. Giles, this obstinate in the movies. <laughs> Let strong. me use the bazooka. Well, is that he a never quote? Wants to use a bazooka. He, he doesn't like violence. I like <laughs> violence. Leave me alone. Well, then you should have played one of the other characters. All right, I'm gonna keep the tome. Oh, for another artifact? Yeah, because I no, did not pull what we need. You, don't, you didn't pull either of the you cross or garlic? garlic. No. Nope. Remember, though, the more artifacts you get, the more spots get taken up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I have to keep two, which is the... which sucks. What do you mean I'll it sucks? pick something that just has a useful discard. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. And then draw an event. 
All right, a demon terrorizes the Shadow Valley vineyards. A townie needs help with the magic box. The magic box. That's the magic shop. Ah. Hmm. If there is a if there's a, currently at least one baddie sharing a location with a character, add one wound to the apocalypse track. There it is. Wow, we're getting a lot of wounds. It's just a townie flipped over. Yep. Okay. A year location toe can remove wounds. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. No. It's still technically within my turn. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to use the rabbit's foot. So during my turn, I can discard this card to rescue one town or soldier in your location without using an action. How do you rescue them? With its effect. I, yeah, it's but not there's, no, there's nothing that's that's threatening a town uh, right now. Re rescuing townies is how you get them out of harm's way, but you cannot rescue townies that are in immediate danger. During uh, the end of the yeah, round, you have to be like alone with one a townie. townie from the game board for each character sharing a space with a townie, unless that location also contains any monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. so right now, you can't yeah. Do it. So yeah. at that point, I will just use the tome to draw another item. Mm -hmm. uh, it's oh, just... artifact card. Yeah. But those don't help us with our with our objective. Mm -hmm. Hey, I know. Why don't you kill him? I'm a watcher. I, I haven't the skill. Oh, come on. Stake through the heart, a little sunlight. It's like falling off a log. Okay. Right. Um, it's Kelly's turn now. Um, fight and move or just fight? I'll just fight here. Uh, can you f Oh, can you fight and move? Yeah, that's my special. You should do the special first. First. Yes, let's get all the stuff out, out so yeah. we can see what we are doing. Okay, with. I'm going to fight and dust this vampire, yep. and then move over here. Okay. So a vampire is in the summer residence, and then a townie is at Glorificus Mansion. And then move a vampire towards the nearest townie. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. How about that? How about them apples? Okay, so now my turn is going to be spectacular. I'm gonna use my special, which means I get an action and you get an action. Nice. I get a rhyme and you get a rhyme. And I, I the action I want. All right, and I can dust a vampire at my location with this. Mm -hmm. When I, let's see, when I fight against, I, I can target an additional baddie in my location. Brian says you're too bossy to be Xander. I gotta, te <laughs> I gotta teach him. <laughs> I gotta teach Giles what he needs to do. He's supposed to look up books, man. <laughs> Giles um, is getting trigger happy, all right? <laughs> in addition to location, the character is wounded. Uh, okay, I can do a fight action. So I can defeat this guy here. Mm -hmm. And then I get an additional um, searcher move. Mm, I guess I can search. So we'll just get rid of these guys here. You mean use the location? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or, yeah, it's an issue. Oh, what does it say? A fight or search. After you perform a fight or search action, okay, no, you can move to an adjacent location. Oh, I don't want to do that. Because mm -hmm. you want to be able to use that next yeah. time. Yeah. I can leave the vampire. Okay, I can leave the vampire here. Well, I'm going to take two off with my action. Mm-hmm. To search or do they or do the location action or whatever and sadly that won't give me any any benefit what are these guys townies and then i will just dust the vampire with one of my wooden stakes okay yes that way i get to do both of the things that i want to do mm -hmm. and then you get a basic action as well I, you get an action and you get an action i would like to fight and dust this vampire okay with my wooden stick yeah we both got them um, and that's my action. I'm gonna go ahead and flip over one of these guys, right? I haven't done this yet. Mm -hmm. I didn't do this, right? Okay. Nope. Okay. Um, vampire of the Magic Box. And a townie Ooh. in the Shadowland Vineyards. Didn't I just read this one? No. Townie. Where oh, the townie. townie. There's a demon there. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Um, and I pass. Oh, wait, what's special? Move one demon towards the nearest townie. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess we get to choose. Yeah. Let's put them all there. Okay. All right, your turn next. 
All right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, huh? We still need to find a cross and some garlic, though. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. I have got cross, neither. but getting a garlic is going to be hard. But you guys, you have a lot of artifacts. Yeah. You're in the same location as Cal. You can trade her artifacts that kill things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my rocket launcher kills things. I, I mean, what does it yeah, do? Yeah, whatever you don't. It says want. if you succeed, disc fight to check eye or pentagram. If you succeed, discard one weapon or item. Uh, discard one weapon, item, or discard this artifact to slay up to two baddies in your location. If the monster of the week is the judge, you may discard this artifact to defeat him. Okay. Um, that's all right. I think she's got... Yeah, this one... I, I mean, you always have to have more than one. I've only been fighting one so far. I gotta go where there's a lot of... Baddies. <laughs> well, perform whatever actions you'd like. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm thinking of using the hypnotic crystal, which is a search to check a right. Unk you, you do you do, you do a, you a search. Move all townies to your location and and uh, move all townies in your location to an adjacent location, so I can move, move the townie out of, here. Yeah. out of harm's way. Okay. All right. So use the search action, which doesn't. Make you discard the card? Yep. Gonna move the townie. No. Not, not to the cemetery. And the reason why you want to move him here is because at the end of the round, if a player is here, then they can actually rescue the townie for free. I just figured cemetery right? might okay. come up more often in. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I, I don't. I actually don't field. know. Uh, but you want to put <laughs> it in a place that would make, that would make more sense. You want to put it in a place where yeah. a character is at, um, so that way they can so rescue protected. them. Like go to the safe house, yeah. Xander. But in the game's logic, it's mm -hmm. you. If you're here, you can actually just save one person per character. So it's pretty pretty good. Uh, you did? Yeah, I'm done. All right. I'm gonna use an action to move over here. There you go. And now it's your turn, Michael. Oh my gosh. I can remove two more wounds if you want. I'm feeling like that's a thing I can do. <laughs> Unfortunately, this doesn't let me do anything when it comes to use for locations. It's good for fighting and search. It's good for fighting and moving or searching and moving. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm, I think I'm going to actually just remove two more wounds. Okay. While you're there. While I'm here. And then my next action will be I'm going to go ahead and search. So that way I can save this townie. Mm -hmm. I'm done. All right. Do you want the rocket launch so you can blow up? She's no longer in I'm your no location. no longer in your location. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> okay, what does the search do for... You can chew the townie and move it to an adjacent location, which is the exact same thing that this one does. <laughs> Alrighty then. Actually, this is any could, townie. Oh, so you could save that townie. Yeah, I will do that. Here? Here? Where would you like to put it? Move them there, so okay. then I can... Uh... Here go. Okay. I'm going to fight and dust this vampire. Uh, well, if this guy wants to fight with weapons, I've got it covered from A to Z. From axe to Z other axe. Then we'll do a check to see if I can kill another one. An onk! No! Okay. No luck. Uh -uh. I thought we, that's our last act. No, you have one more action for this? Yeah. I'll be able to fight again and hopefully I can get both of them. Okay, we're going to go ahead and search. So I'll draw items to try and find that next plot. i got another wooden stake and holy water. Can you, okay, are you... Can you actually deal with both of these guys? Possibly, if I get the check. I can stun one of them. I can stun, stun a vampire. Demon. I can't stun the demon. Oh. I can stun a vampire in any location. Um, or I can... I can kill vampires in oh, my location. Oh, well, they stun, then they're not going to move, at least, right? They won't do anything for the first... They'll flip over instead yeah. of doing actions. Uh -huh. But you're going to be able to kill the vampire, period. Yeah. You just might not be, be able... able to kill the demon. So there's no reason to do that. But I could stun a different vampire. 
I mean, why not? Let's flip you over. He won't move, Ellie. Then, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's my last action. So now you're up, Max. All right. I'm going to do the search action again in order to move Townie. Okay. And remember so the that's the lo- location action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Remember, however, that um, I can only save. It's one person can save one townie, it, provided there's no monsters in that space per round. And as soon as you have an open spot, I can trade you the rabbit's foot, which will allow you to save a Tony without using an action. Hmm. Okay. So that way you'll be able to clear out both townies. Mm-hmm. Okay. My turn? Yep. All right. Uh, you um, need to beat both of them. Fighting the vampire and then checking if my scythe also killed the demon. Okay, you need a what? A pentagram or the eye. The only yeah. other one is onk. <laughs> Which one did you get? The eye. The onk. No, really? Oh, no. And then you heard fireworks in the background. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. You did protect. You are protected with the townie though, which is good. Yeah, yeah, but the demon's gonna hurt us. Yeah. Okay. So first, the monster of the week. Yep. Is going to give an owie a damage. Okay, and then the de- that demon. Gonna do a damage. Yep. And then this one's not gonna move. And it gets flipped over. That demon's gonna move too. Towards un- uh, pr- there's no unprotected townies, so it's gonna go to one with a protected townie. I choose that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It says you get to choose. I think yeah. in the bottom of the rules, if, if you have the option. If there are two or more equivalent movement options, collectively choose. Yep. yep. That's it. We cleared out the rest of them. And this guy is saved. Yeah, you can rescue that one. It doesn't cost me an action though, right? At the end of the round. Um. Mm-mm. As long as there aren't any monsters there. So that might just let you save a townie for free. Just when you're in a space with a townie. With a townie. That's what I'm guessing that does. Okay. Yeah, like, go free. And all the dudes moved and everything? Yep. It's pretty nice. Nothing too, Not too crazy. Nothing too crazy. So we had to flip all of our stuff over again. Yeah. And we got standees for this one, Gary. No little miniatures. I know. We should have Buffy minis. What the heck? Come on, Jasko. Get yeah. on it, man. Okay. You're good to start off, Max. All right. You got, how are you going to defeat the demons? I, need, I don't know. I need something to defeat the demon. Mm, I have nothing that I can even try to give you, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, going to use the action. I'm going to move this townie. What? Oh. No, why aren't you searching for what we need for the monster of the week? That's late. I, I thought that's your roll. Okay, go ahead. Okay. okay. No, you can't do both. Uh-uh. No, I said I could do either. Right, I mean, you yeah. moved him, so. You I know. That, I was going to do that so we could right. clear out um, counties. But I'll have to get that. Yeah, I guess I got to search for an item so I can defeat demons. Two <laughs> items? Really, and keep it. Oh, here we go. Demon and a garlic. So you got a garlic, we now need you just the need a cross. That is, you got the garlic. Now you need the cross. Yeah, but I need to choose. I need to discard one of these. Hmm. I like all of these. Well, you right can discard now. the scythe can... if you want. Yeah, I, I guess would... it hasn't been useful. <laughs> well, honestly, I would. It's think really the good though. Stake, because right now you're fighting demons. Yeah, wooden but stakes come up all the time. Yeah, this is yeah. pretty rare. This is pretty good. They even said they give it to you at the beginning to make it easier. I have some stakes I can stake. give you if we're in, the, we're in the same space. Oh. You get rid of the stake and then you give me one later? Yeah. Yeah, I okay. would. <laughs> you can still kill demons and vampires are the secondary, potentially. Yeah. It's a really good card. I don't. I think they gave it to us for a reason, so. Okay. It'd be like, here's the Ankh of Toroth uh-huh. and uh, a stake. And you're like, I'll take the stake, please. Because <laughs> <laughs> I need it right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. That's it. Yeah. Well, see, I don't know what to do necessarily because I don't really want to sit here and just keep saving Baby townies. Bitty. Yeah, babysitting doesn't sound fun. I want to go. He- but that is Xander's generalized. Role. 
No, but it, it, he's not doing. I'm not doing anything there. Um, there's no monsters either. Gary uh, asks, are there miniatures? I don't know no. if there's an expansion. No, there's no miniatures now. No, no there is an expansion, but there is no miniatures. I'm gonna use my special action. Cause Kelly needs to move. Kelly needs to kill these guys, I guess, and then and she then needs move. to move. Yeah. So I'm gonna use my special. Uh, that lets me have a basic action. <sighs> do we want to meet at city? Do we all want to meet at city hall? Prop, that's where I'll have to go after. Yeah. Cause these are these guys are fine for now. Yeah. Um And you can take your action. I will fight, and I will slay a demon, and then we'll check to see if. I oh, I can also search. Ready. I can also search with this oh, thing okay. until I take a damage. Um, holy water. And this, so I'll just get rid of these guys. So I'm going to two stakes. Okay, I finally got it. Woohoo! Slay the demon, too. All right. Uh, did you... I used my special. Did you use... Oh, okay, you're doing that. Okay. Yeah, and now you do the event. All right. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Extra, extra, a vampire lurks at Shadow Valley Vineyards. It's a very interesting uh, press release. A demon terrorizes the magic box. And also, if there are any demon characters adjacent to a character, they move into that character's location. No. Well, not so bad. We've cleared our map pretty all right, well. All right. Thank you. Um, keep, uh, keep saving those townies. Your go. All right. I'm going to use my special action. Cheat. Three. Four. Four. Come on. Garlic. Well, I have we garlic. Got I don't know, but I did get garlic. <laughs> okay. I got wooden stake, ah. <laughs> wooden stake, weapons, and a tome. So, garlic All is right. definitely something I'm going to keep. Get rid of the rabbit's foot. The, the foot? The one you were going to give me? The one? Okay. Aww. Well, Oh, Alright, discard all the rest you don't want to keep. You only get four items. Yeah. Okay. And. Extra, extra. Uh, vampire rests in Restfield Cemetery. Which cemetery? Restfield? Restfield? Okay. A uh, demon terrorizes Angelus's mansion. An Angelus? Angelus. A N G L. That's it. If possible, remove a, uh, remove one townie sharing a location with a character from play and replace it with a vampire. There if possible, remove one townie sharing a location with a character from play. Yep. Okay. And replace it with a vampire. They got turned into a vampire. This demon turned your townie into a vampire. <laughs> okay. That could be an episode, right? Um. All right, you're up, Kelly. Okay. Well, I can't fight and move yet because I don't know if I'll be able to defeat both of those. But, so I'm just going to use a regular action to fight the demon. Yep. And then check to see if I slay the vampire as well. Anything but an onk. And we are good. Success. Success. That's some good vampire slang, yeah. Buffy. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, my turn? Yep. Yeah. Well, you're not in my space. You don't... Oh, he's got the things for the... Yeah, he's already got it, so I don't even need to go there. I'll probably go kill some vampires and demons elsewhere. <laughs> so I should choose a townie and move it into an adjacent location. No, I mean it'll just hit us because we're protecting it right now, huh? I don't really have a lot to do. I want what I want to do. I guess that's what I'll do. I'll just move one of these guys into here because he can technically kill this. Before the round ends. Oh, and then you can rescue the town. Exactly. Okay. Your turn, Max. All right. So I will do the fight action so I can take on the baddie. Um, yes. The monster of the week, yeah. Monster of the week. So give me your cross and your garlock. Cross and the garlic. And these will go here. Oh, the other button. Oh, other. sorry. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll do a check. And, wait, wait, and this is before, okay, before a character moves into this location. Oh, I had to actually discard a card to move into that location. So oh. I, just, I just get rid of this one. I keep forgetting about these because they're so... Mm -hmm. right. um, 
check for Onker Pentagram. Yeah, so flip it over. Let's see if we defeat. Onker Pentagram? We are good. Defeated. No, Mr. Trick. And then a clue token comes out. Okay, and then we flip over one of these guys, mm -hmm. and we're facing. Oh, wait, and we flip over one of those nope, plots. Not oh no, not yet. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna flip. Okay. Uh, Ekathal. Ekathal appears at Anglis's mansion. I just got rid of my holy water. I can. Okay. Ekathal does not activate unless there is at least one wound on the apocalypse track for each character in play. When she activates, though, it kills any two townies on the game board. <gasps> That's mean. Each time a character performs a special action, add a wound to the apocalypse track. Oh, wow. She's mean. She's really mean. Yeah. Okay. Well, the good thing is, before my turn ends, use the rabbit's foot, I can get that townie out of here. Well, Which townie? Uh, that one there. The one yeah. that was put into... He likes to steal the things we were going to do. Yeah. Hey, right, go ahead. I'm freeing well, why up your you action. This one? I have to do it with it in the oh. location I'm in. Okay. Um, your turn, Cal. Okay. Well, I need to use my special because I haven't yet. Yep. So I'm going to move and fight. I will slay the demon and oh. check to see if we... I? Yes. Explosion. I the vampire as well. Good. And yeah, an event. Vampire at the Magic Box, and a townie at the Shadow Vineyard Valley Vineyards. Hello. If there are any vampires and demons sharing a location with each other, move them to separate locations. Player's choice. Nope. Nope. Not okay. anymore. <laughs> Alright, so I have two turn. actions right now. Yeah. I can... I can search and move and good stake night, the Gary. vampire. Good night, Gary. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess, I guess I will search. And we need, what do we need? A book? Tome and holy water. Demon or vampire? Which one? Do I, I should do the, keep the vampire, so this one will go. I will search. And I get to move for free. Okay. And I'm done. All right. I'm going to use my last action to do a search. Okay. Serious business mode. Rabbit foot and a weapon. Okay. And you're up, Callie. Um, I kind of just want to move away from this guy. <laughs> so he doesn't... Oh, wait. It doesn't, it doesn't activate unless there are wounds uh, equal to the number of players on the board there. Yeah. So you're good for right now. But if I move, I could either protect that townie or rescue this one. That's true. Well, no, because this guy is going to move into that space. That happens. No, that that's part of their activation, though. Don't they activate first, and then afterwards we check oh. to see what's left, and if you are by yourself with a townie, you can rescue them for free? Oh, one per yeah, player? Yeah, I guess so. Uh-huh. If possible... Rescue townies. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So you can either choose to go... Can you move an attack too or no? No, I already did that. Um, it's up to you. The garlic, not great. I'll just go here then. Okay. And then for me, my last action will be to stake that vampire. Mm -hmm. Ooh, how you like them apples? <laughs> and by apples, I mean a steak. And by steak, I don't mean beef. It's a wooden stake. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where's the other? Um. Where is the? Oh, we don't have another one. No, you, you gotta didn't. search for it first. Oh, wait, oh did you? I did search. No, no, you searched for items, not for the. Th yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's... activation. Does the monster of the week activate? It does not. Nope. Okay. We have two web damage, and we need. Uh, we have three characters. Okay, then the baddies. That one's gonna hit us for a wound. And then this one's gonna move over here. Uh, Easy peasy. Doesn't it move towards the protected townie first? Adjacent with an unprotected townie mm. first. And then 
Flip all stunned enemy tokens face up. Yep. Da, da, da. Rescue townies. No, no. rescue, sadly. Check all passive locations. Those are the ones with the exclamation point. Shuffle all discarded item cards back into the item deck. Oh, you do that at the end of the round. We don't need to. Pass the first player token clockwise and flip our action tokens. Townies can't be rescued here. Uh, Nothing seems like we missed anything though. After uh, Monsoor activation or monster activation of their town. Okay, we haven't had any issues there. After monster activation, if there are unprotected townies here, move one to the catacombs. Get out of here, fly. I think we're okay. Okay, looks like it. Like one little fly flying right. around here. All right. And um, you're up to start with. Wait, is that a vampire? It is. Uh, I don't have a stake anymore. <laughs> That's one right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That I took garlic and then somebody <laughs> didn't need it. Uh, okay, I got to search for a stake. <laughs> search for two cards. Magical supplies and a rabbit's foot. We don't need, we need holy water. I've got, a, I've, got a, I've got a tome and we need holy water. Yeah. I guess this one's better than the garlic. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what garlic even does. Moves vampires around probably. Yeah. All right, my turn. Yeah. You, do you want, I can't give you an extra action. There's no point to that, huh? No, I can't. I can't fight. Fli flipping, right flipping this over is just going to end up making it the, the game harder for us, right? So we should probably get the items we need first before we search that up? Or oh, I mean, this one wasn't, hasn't even really affected, affected us that much. Okay. If I take two actions, I can, like, take two magic supplies from the item deck... Then reshuffle. Magic supplies. The specific item. Oh, we don't need that though, do uh -uh. we? Okay. Well, I wonder if there's I, I'm other. Oh, you can take two weapons. I don't know. I'm gonna try and search. No. And then I get to move. Oh. One. Oh. Um, and you're up. All right. Should we reveal our clue? Uh, yeah, might as well, I guess. Just get out of the way. This is going to go. I'll just put it over here, I guess. And we get another wonderful um, <laughs> event from the Master Plot. Oh, now I know we're going to need it. At right. the end of each round, any <laughs> character that is defeat that defeats at least one vampire must discard a wooden stake if possible. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Your turn, Kelly. Uh, I need a wooden steak, or you gotta come get this vampire, Sander. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I was I'm, I was planning on trying to find the things needed for a a cathal. Uh, yeah. Um, searching, I guess. <laughs> okay. Remember, if anybody uses a special action, we take a wound. By the way. Ooh. A cross and a rabbit's foot. Oh, this to move vampires. Vampire. Oh. I don't know. I don't know the correct choices in this situation. Or I can. <laughs> I guess I don't want to move it. I don't care about moving it. And discarding it only moves it too. I used to, these guys are going to go. <laughs> All right. Was that, was that your action? Yep. So the question Might is, do we good. activate sooner to take damage? You should probably heal us here. Um, Isn't it here? Oh, it is here. Dang. Move and then heal. You have time. Or you can give him your, act. oh. We no, can't. Take, I guess can't I can. use this. We can't really use our special action, huh? So, 
Okay, so I'm going to search again, and then I get a free move. Cross and a rabbit's foot. Okay. I'm going to go through this entire deck. And I'll just move over here, I guess. That's it. And do you want to use your wooden stake, considering... No. I'm not going to discard my wooden stake. I'll use it to fight. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So, best thing would be right now for me to use my special action, even though it will take a wound. Special action? So that way I can pull four items, try to keep, keep as much as I can for... You have three spots filled. I mean, I, I don't know. It's up to you. Yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't personally, but... But we're having issues trying to find what we need, so... Uh, but if you get a... Um, if you get holy water, then we're going to spend actions to move to you. Oh, I could stun the vampire, huh? Yeah. Okay. You can still stun vampires. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we take a wound. <laughs> Magical supplies, cross, garlic, wooden steak. Everything we didn't need. Okay, and uh, we took the wound. And additionally, we're going to get an event card. Here, take one. And you can read it. Okay. Take one. There you go. Ready? Go ahead. A demon. Oh, he said, well, he looks. Yeah, a demon terrorizes. Terrorizes what? Angelus's mansion. Okay. And a vampire lurks at Restfield Cemetery. Okay. Place this card beside the game board until the end of this round. City Hall cannot be activated this round. Okay, so we can't move townies. All right. Uh, was that your action? No. No. Oh, that, that was, was the event. Yeah. Uh, Okay, well, you got to discard before he can cheat. Yeah. Turn, and can I use the cards before ending mm, my turn? No, no, not after searching. Yeah, right. do the search action and then. You, got, you can choose to discard, the and then you can choose to search, and then you can choose to yeah. use, but not during, because then you have all eight cards to utilize. Well, that's why I was asking. Um, I don't think I want to use the special part of it to take the wound, but I could use it as a regular action. If you do it still, whenever. It still gets an event, but we don't get a wound, right? Uh, each time a character performs a special action. Um, yes, you're right. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm going to stun the vampire. Okay. Event. Vampire at UC Sunnydale and a townie at Rosedale Cemetery. If there are any vampires and demons sharing a location with each other. Uh, town, town, townie where? At Rose, Rosedale Cemetery. That's correct. Uh, there's no demons and vampires sharing the same space, so that is not relevant. Okay, so I'm up now. I will discard the wooden stake to kill the vampire, because at the end of the round, I'm going to have to discard the wooden stake anyway. Mm -hmm. So it still frees me up for an action, and my action is going to be to remove two wounds from the track here. There you go. And I'll make it. Go to this one. So I'm not going to be the last turn. I went first. Or you went first, I went right? First, yeah. That will just be Max after you. Maybe I'll Do just. Do it sooner. Use my See what happens. Gun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Event. A vampire at Sunnydale and a townie at Sunnydale High. Oh, so one cemetery. The vampire is in the cemetery of Sunnyvale, and then the townie is in Sunnydale High um, School. Okay. And then if there's currently at least a vampire sharing a location with a character, and a wound token. Which there isn't. It's stunned. Uh, then there's not. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna use the mad the search action for magical supplies to remove wound token from the apocalypse track. Search to remove one wound token from the apocalypse track. Okay. 
All right. Is that your last? No, you have one more action, or is that your last one? That was my third action. Okay. So. okay. You're up, Kelly. Last um, round. Last round. Last turn of the round. I can't rescue him because there's still a vampire there, right? Fight to rescue one town or a soldier in your location, or could I use that? I don't know. I have no idea how that works. I, I know that you can do it if there's nothing there. It but says, yeah, you cannot rescue townies that are in immediate danger. Well, be stunned. if they're stunned, they're not in immediate danger. Well, it says during the end of the round, you'll remove one townie. Unless, you know, it has a monster there. I don't know. I don't know if I can or not. So I, say, I guess I can't. Yeah, I always go with so, the more difficult yeah. decision. I will... Explode. No, I don't know. Uh, there's no... Oh, there's a demon. I'll just... Move. You already used your special... Or you're not using I'm your not special. using my okay. special, no. Because it's going to cost us oh, damage. Very good. Okay. And then my action, which will be to search. I can search and fight or search and move. I'm done. You get the last action, Max. And I am going to shuffle this deck after drawing 40 first. A certain amount of cards. I don't <laughs> no magical nonsense. Uh, Unless we literally just drew them all at the very beginning of the game. Maybe. Where's that search the deck for a or discard for a pot? For well, a card? I guess. Oh, there is one that's holy water. Uh, Go there. Didn't think of that. <laughs> I can't see that's literally blue. Yeah. Blue. <laughs> the right. glare. Take an action. Then. Yeah, I'm thinking about what I want to do for a second. You got the AP in this game, my friend. Yeah. I'm trying to do the search action. Draw two? Draw two, yeah. Alright. And then you gotta discard one and we'll do the end of the round triggers. Wooden stake and wooden stake. Okay. Um take it. <laughs> so she will not activate. Okay, now these say, the, did anybody kill a vampire at the end of this round? I did. I have no stake. I I'll, remember, all vampires move too. So, no, this vampire will go here, right? Or there. Oh, it'll go here, because I'm protected. Mm. Or, doesn't matter. It doesn't. Know. Yeah. And then, this guy will go here. Mm -hmm. Well, it would go to the unprotected no, one. one. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And then this one will go here. Yep. And this that guy one. will go there. Yeah. Okay. And then that's all the movement and attacking, but there's any attacking. And then this gets rescued. Yay! I'm not doing too bad as far as the track. It's just taking us a while to get yep. the stuff that we need. <laughs> okay. And then. All right. We unflip all the things. And then Michael starts us off. So this will be gone now. So I searched and moved. Your turn. Uh, I'm going to discard the wooden stake without using an action to get rid of the vampire. Okay. All right. And I'm going to move. Okay. Here, discard my weapon. Uh, no, I'm gonna play the demon. Oh. It's no big deal. You don't want to discard. Well. Unless you literally don't need that. 
I mean, I'm trying to okay, clear fine. out so yeah, that way yeah. I can get... You can search? Okay. I can get stuff to search. Okay. Anything else? Um, and I'm going to get rid of the cross to move Vampire. Okay. Away from there. And that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. I will... Use my rabbit's foot to rescue the townie. Hooray! You have to discard, don't you? Oh no, nope. it's a fight. Okay. It's a fight action. My turn. Yes. I'll do this. I'll do these. Uh, Abil- location ability. You get two holes. Let's one. see how far it would have been. It would have been forever. None. There is one okay. in the entire. There's two left, and they're at the very bottom. I don't. Um, I does say you can shuffle in that at the end of the round. Oh, really? Yeah. Shuffle all discard item cards back into the item deck. Okay, well, the stake is going to go. And I guess one holy water will sadly have to go. Because this is too useful. Oh, you'll be able to defeat it. We also need to keep in mind what we I, need. I know. I know, but. Which I don't. I only have. Any of those. I've only ever kept this one item because it's useful. It lets uh-huh. me search and fight, fight and yeah. move. Yeah. So it's like double actions during certain periods of time. Uh-huh. That's it for me. All right. So. Do your special. Yeah. So you can give me an item. Or, yeah, steak. Two. Three. Four. You want a steak or a weapon? Steak. <laughs> I have a weapon. <laughs> well, considering that one's going to uh, allow us to get rid of steaks, I will. That's better to have more steaks then. <laughs> Are you going to pass her a weapon or no? Uh, yes. More steak, I mean? We can trade Carter. Demon Terrorizer. Ter- terrorizes the Restfield Cemetery. And Townie needs help at Angela's Mansion. Oh, no. Replace any one Townie on the game board with a demon. Should we just do this one? This one. Oh, that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be hard to... Hard to go rescue that guy. And now the vampires turn the Townie into a demon. And that's how it works. Okay. Um, your turn, Count. I'm going to use my special. I'm going to move and fight. I will fight the demon first, and let's check and see if I defeat the vampire. Not a cross. Pentagram. That works. All right. Okay. Then you might as well dust the other vampire while you're at it. Next turn, yep. Well, no, considering at the end of the round. I I fought the demon. Oh, that's right. Uh, my turn. I will use my special. Uh, oh, if I who do who used their special by the way this game. Oh, I did. You gotta yeah do an event. Sorry. You both use use a special just now. Yeah. And you used one last turn. Oh, yeah. we still have that. He still she still oh. exists. Um, Sorry, I thought it was on that card. New event: demon at UC Sunnydale, and a townie at Rosedale Cemetery, and then move a vampire towards the nearest townie, and all vampires move two spaces. Mm. Wow, that's it. No, 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 no. no. A vampire. No, because when you said vampires move two. Well, yes, vampires move two, but move a vampire. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my special ability now. Should I use a special? No, 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 no. I'm just going to use my regular ability. Let's move over here. Um, I don't have a way of reducing the track by one. Sadly. Um. That's all I can do. I'm done. Vampire lurks the magic box, and a townie needs help at Shadow Valley vin- Vineyards. No. Move, a, move a vampire near, to the nearest townie. Watch the already there. That one goes there. Yep. All right. We're gonna start taking damage. Yeah. I'm going to use the move action. 
remove over here. Okay. And then I'm going to discard. To get rid of the demon? To get rid of the demon. Okay. Was that your last action? Nope. Oh, okay, we won't. Callie's. Um, I went first, so yeah, we have one more left. Did I just stun the vampire or dust him? <laughs> I'll lose my stake. But at right? the end of the round, you lose a stake if you kill the vampire anyway. I haven't killed one. If you kill a vampire... Oh, I kill... Oh, I if you kill a vampire, okay. at the end of the round, you lose a Even stake. Even though I didn't fight it. it okay. If you yeah, kill yeah, a vampire... Yeah. Okay. So it might be worth it to discard it, so that way you don't... Yep. Are you going to use that as your fight action? Yeah. What else would I do? Discard, discard it. it so you get a free oh. action anyway okay unless you plan on killing another vampire next turn i could it's up to you no. oh maybe i can't because i have to you move. have to move uh, so instead you get a free movement right now yeah okay that's it you didn't you didn't do an action you discarded a card and killed a vampire. yeah yeah no i mean that's um all i could do you can move to where the demon is. You can take two crosses. You can move. Where can I get uh, another get stake? <laughs> no. I guess I'll move here. Okay. My turn? Mm -hmm. um, I have the two items needed to, def to mess with this dude. So I'm going to spend them. To go after this guy here, and I need to get a pentagram or um, I. I got an onk, so I'm going to forfeit an action for the rest of the game mm -hmm. to defeat her. Mm -hmm. The last one. Okay, no more monster of the weeks come out. And that was my last action. No, so no more do. No more come out at all. Period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you're at max. There's, you each get one more action, so you can start clearing some stuff. I'll be right back. Um, I did. I did my due diligence. <laughs> I'm going to move here and then discard my weapon to remove the demon. Okay. I'm going to stun the vampire that's here, and that's it. Okay. So, end of the round. We don't have a monster of the week out, but we don't have him out yet either. <laughs> the big bad. He so, will be coming out soon, though. Yes. Okay, the town of year is just going to chill. This vampire's done. This vampire is going to give us a wound. Because the end of year is protecting the townie. Yep, so we're 5 out of, out of 13 for the end of the game. And then we flip everything, right? Did you move everything? Yep. Yeah, there's not much to move. We cleared out the board. And first player marker moves. Get this. So that will be me. Sadly, I'm last. I'm the person next to the... the third <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move. So remember, we're going to need these items. Yeah, okay. but I'm moving, getting rid of this to save the townie. Okay. You're up, Kelly? Uh, oh, this gets fucked up. I will... Rock you! Uh, and now it goes? No. I, don't, I guess... Search... I need a wooden stake. You want, oh, did you want to reshuffle this deck before the... Yeah, yeah probably yeah. a good idea. There's a lot. Okay, two items? Yeah. Could have gotten trigger. I got a weapon and a wooden stake. Yeah, I got a wooden stake. Now, do you want to... Okay, you don't need a weapon. Actually. I have it, yeah. Okay, my turn? Yes. I will use my action to remove this clue to generate the last plot in the game. Let's see what we get. It is after a monster activation is resolved. If there are more vampires than unprotected townies in a location, kill those townies. Oh, wow. That's pretty mean. Okay. And he activates. We don't need the rest of his plots anymore. But we do need him. And he says, specifically, we'll put him right here, I guess. 
Um, he says, the at the end of each round, a vampire lurks at each location containing a clue token. Oh, do the clue tokens just clue? stay? Oh. I guess. Okay. I don't know if they stay or not. I have to look at the rules, I, I suppose. I guess it didn't say to remove them. When the master reveals himself, place him in the hellmouth. So, get his, where's his token? Here. And he goes to the hellmouth. Okay. And uh, then check for this every for every two vampires on the game board. And for each success, add a townie to the apocalypse track. There's two vampires, so we get one of these, and we check. This fails. It says to remove the clue token from play when you search. Yeah, that's what I thought. I yeah. thought there was more monsters of the week that come out based on when I read the rules. But I could be wrong. Okay. No. The end of that each one, round, the vampire lurks at each location <laughs> containing a clue token. Well, there's no more clue tokens, so. Does he have a way to bring them out? Add one tiny of the pocket with check, which is a character. Vampires move, spawn a vampire per character. I don't think so. Oh. Huh. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, his ability is we trigger one of these checks, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. And we have to deal with him now. Okay, so we flip all our, well, we all flip all the things over, right? That was me doing that action. It's now Max's turn. Yep. All right. So we need to defeat him by removing these guys here. So you need an onk. You should be on your first one. Why is yours? One of yours is used. Uh, he's no, he's first player. No, I was first player. Oh, oh, I thought he. he no, I it. I triggered that at the end of my turn. The bad guy at the end of my turn. I oh, looked at okay. the last clue token, flipped over the plot. All right, I'm gonna use my special draw. Four. But I haven't done an action yet. You had to have. You searched. Yeah, you searched. Oh, I did. Okay. Yes. Okay, so. We so she's got a wooden stake. Definitely need the wooden stake. We need another one. <laughs> now you need a garlic, holy water, or onk. Cross. Okay. Garlic or holy water? No. No. Nope. Choose one that you want that you can use to fight. Just one that you think is useful. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you have this too. Never mind. You have to discard an item of you. I already no, discarded that's, that. That's oh, it's discard. discard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have this I can discard, but it says fight to check. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, just pick one. Whatever one you like. Just discard the other one. Yep, perfect. Oh. Okay, Galley's turn. All right. And what was that special? Your special, that right? That was my special. Event. Demon in Sunnydale Cemetery. And a townie in... And a town, it's a demon in Sunnydale Cemetery. Here. And then a townie at Sunnyvale High. Beautiful. And then if there is currently at least one baddie sharing a location with a character, um, add a wound. So add a wound. Yep. Uh-oh. It's getting nasty now. You have cost me, Slayer! I cost you? That's a designer lab, you move. Okay. And your turn. All right. Should I use my, get my special out of the way or no? If you want. It's up to you. I mean, you get to kill something, right, with it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this I goes... Dust of Empire. See you later, Angel. And I moved my angel. <laughs> Alright. Event. A demon at the bronze and a vampire at City Hall. The bronze. In order for vampires to be slain this round, you have to stun them first. No. It's kind of nasty. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, you could stun it, <laughs> and I can play it. My action is going to be... Okay, you have a stake and a cross. And a cross. For that one. So I'm going to search, actually. I think that's the move. Rabbit's foot, magical supplies. Neither of those help. I can't give you anything either with these, huh? Mm-mm. So I will remove a wound from the apocalypse track. That's all I can do. Here we go. All right. In order to discard those, you have to be on the space with the master, though. Mm -hmm. You have to go to the Hellmouth. Yep. <laughs> I will move myself to the Hellmouth. Okay. 
Discard the cross. How? Oh, wait, to fight something? To nope. No, nope, that's an action. It's just oh, okay. like a, it's just like dealing with a um, with the, one of the demons of the week. Yeah. Monsters of the week. Okay, um, you're done. Do I want to? Unless you, I'm gonna, unless you want to sack something. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna sack the tome. Try to go for an artifact. The amulet. Check for an eye or a pentagram. If you succeed, discard this artifact and place a wound token on the apocalypse track to slay all baddies in your location. Okay. And it's a special. It requires a special action. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're up to Kelly. All right. I'm going to dust this vampire. Oh, wait. I got to stun it first. I'm going to stun the vampire. And you should then wound it with a stake because remember that it's you're... It's going to go... Exactly. Anyway, yeah. There we go. My turn? Mm-hmm. I will search once again. Rescue first. Well, I mean... That I way you can keep both your cards. Oh, yeah. Rescue Johnny. A foot and a stake. Stake is good. You haven't killed a vampire, so you are you can keep it. <laughs> I get to move to one location of my choice. Move here and rescue a townie. I don't care about that, though. And we want to try and defeat the big bad. This. Oh, when it, wait, it says when rescuing townies here, rescue one additional townie. Oh, that's nice, but there was only one there. Yeah. And what's the Hellmouth do? Uh, choose a baddie and move it to an adjacent location. Okay. Okay, that's useful. I, sh- I could move over there with him so we can try and get rid of this stuff. Yeah, or these guys are going to come over here. But we're not, I'm not super worried about losing one yeah. townie, though. Mm-hmm. Not yet, at least. And I can give bonus actions next turn. All right, Brian, take it easy. All right, Brian, have a good one. You're up. All right, so I'm going to use the action to get rid of the token. We're going to try to. Attempt Try to, yes. So we need an unk or an eye. Unk, you got it. Got it. Yeah. That's one of three. Now, remember, if you fail these, you can't lose an action um, in order to do it. Mm Mm-hmm. And that will end my turn. Um, oh, well, I, I must have taken three actions if that's your fourth. I started. So, okay, let's add for my... I, I'm supposed to add actions because I only have three left. So, mm-hmm. Demon at Rosedale Cemetery and a Townie at UC Sunnydale. And this does not apply. Oh, no. Yeah, I goofed. Yeah, Apparently I had an extra one. Uh, you see Sunnydale. Your turn. Um, I guess I can move there to protect them. Yeah. And you can. Well, I was about to say you can get rid of the demon uh, too, technically. I could. Well, should I just get rid of them? Yeah, because I can go here and get stakes. Okay. Which stakes are very useful. Uh, now demons. Demons have to be stunned first. Oh, I thought it was vampires. No, demons. Oh, I heard... I thought it was vampires. That's why... Yeah, you said vampires needed to be stunned first. Uh Uh-huh. That's why I stunned that vampire before defeating it. I don't know. I I thought I said demons. I read it first, and then I probably said it differently the second time. There's a lot of things I'm trying to keep track of that you guys are not paying attention to, so I have to make sure that each of these does a thing. Yeah. I know, I'm just saying that I have to, I'm Mm -hmm. trying to make sure that I keep track, there's a lot to keep track of here by myself, so. I'll just move there then. Okay. Okay, end of the round. End of the round. Okay, so he's gonna actually do stuff first. And I think he activates, right? Yeah. At the end of the round, a vampire lurks in each location containing a clue token. There is no clue token. Um, when the master reveals himself okay we already did all that mm-hmm. so it's just the special I think it's just revealing this yep. checking this spawn yep. a vampire per character evenly distributed in the cemetery oh so one in each cemetery basically in the cemeteries yeah sorry wow okay he's done all right because now, then it would be the monster of the week, which there's one, and then the baddies. So he moves two. Okay. Vampire oh, moves oh, two. Demon moves two as well. Oh, shoot, he does. Yeah, okay. Yeah, demon's, demon's gen- yeah, two. Okay. 
Okay. All right. And then we take a, I take a wound. You take two wounds. Okay. All right, and then this goes. No more worrying about stunning them. Flippy, flippy, flippy. Flippy. Pass this to Callie to start. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to try to slay the demon. All right, whoop. Wait, I got to stun it first. Or no, that's gone now, right? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. So I can slay the demon and then check to see... I get this. Pentagram? Yeah. You're good. Okay. Nice. Vampire. Hey, Ken. Want to see my impression of Gandhi? <laughs> Gandhi? Well, you know, he was really pissed off. Oh. Go ahead. I will search a weapon and a cross. I don't know, I guess I gotta keep the stake, but I don't need the foot anymore. And the cross lets me move vampires, and that lets me deal with demons. So we'll go with demons. That's it. Alright, considering we need to try to get as much of the pieces as possible, mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the special garlic, my king. <sighs> you can trade well, me. I'll take it anyway, yeah. Yeah, we're both on the same, so I can trade you for... But you have to discard first, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Well, considering I'm not going to be using these at all anymore. <laughs> keep those four, and I'll trade you a weapon for a stake. Well, new. No. Why would we do that? Because there's a stake and a garlic for this one. So that I can give him one to use next round, even though my turn is coming up sooner? Oh, yeah, that's true. true. Mm -hmm. Give should, me the weapon. You can keep one of these if things it's better. You can even go with this one if you want to destroy all the monsters here. That oh but I already yeah, used my special, special though. You might as well discard that one. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I have next we'll round. Just, we'll just work it for now. Well, like, like I can use this on my next turn. Do you, we're gonna need another wooden stake, huh? Uh so yes. Go grab that or try to go kill demons. Um, you're the one that deals with the baddies pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, Can you move an attack? Yeah. Oh, that's special. nice. Yeah. That's really nice. So I'll use Did you use special? your special? Oh, wait, he used his special last. Oh, okay, you got it. Shadow Valley Vineyards, so Vampire Lurks, and a Townies at the Magic Box. If there's at least a current a vampire uh, sharing a location with a character, put a wound down. Uh, there's no. not. Nope. Okay. Okay. I will use my special to fly Ooh. over here and fight. I will slay a demon and I will see if I'll get a vampire. Onk? Nope. No. Okay. Sad. Sad days. Event. Demon at the Glorificus Mansion and a vampire looks at the summer residence. If there's at least one vampire sharing a location with a character, add a wound. There is no. now. Oh. Now we're getting a few wounds. <laughs> Your turn, Michael. Hmm. All right, do that fight. Do us proud. Me. Yeah, aren't you gonna get rid of this one? Well, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my special. Hmm. So I'm gonna let Callie have an action and myself, so that way she can deal with the baddies. But yes, I'm gonna go ahead and discard these two to try and get rid of this. But I'm going to need either an onk or a star. And I got a star, so this goes. Right. Two out of three. Yay, almost there. And um, you get to take an action now. All right. I will fight to slay a demon. Nice. And check and see if I get one more in the event. Eyeball? Yes. Get that vampire as well. <sighs> okay. Uh, event because of my special. Because of my special. Yeah. You already did yours. No, this was oh, my turn. Oh, yours, sorry. A uh, demon terrorizes Rosedale Cemetery. And a vampire looks at UC Sunnydale. Yeah, and then a vampire here. If no current cur characters are currently evil, choose a character to become evil. <gasps> um, I will become evil. So Did I'll you just, only have one action? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll just... This is me being evil. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> and now it's your turn, Max. I'm going to grab a card that calls me evil so I can show you how that yeah. works. Yeah. I'm going to use my action to search. And these are not going to help. <laughs> but I want to get rid of two weapons and keep a tome and garlic. And, oh, I can be evil. And just because before the end of my turn, I'm going to use the tome to get my get an artifact. Which the artifact is the Holy Bible, monsters of the weak require one less holy water to defeat <laughs> you may discard this artifact instead of a holy water to fight the bat the big bad that is useful because i can i just now need a stake okay be careful when you slam your fingers on the table yes yeah. i will stun the vampire okay I'll probably have to go move you're uh, out of action right I, no, oh no, no. no. Uh, i get an evil action Oh no! Uh, activate the monster of the week or or the big bad. So I have to activate the big bad. I have no choice. All vampires move. I don't know. Do these guys have to move then? I don't, or, know, I don't think they do. They're already attacking someone. That one's gonna go there. That's a demon. Oh, all vampires. Okay. Yep. <sighs> okay. Um, that's me being evil. That was my action. And then I am no longer evil. Yep. That's it. Alright. I'm going to use my third action to search for garlic. You need a, you need a steak. I know. Yeah. I got garlic and a holy water. Should I Didn't keep the, the holy water. Keep the holy water, though. So you can give it to Callie if she comes up, or give it to me. If, if someone comes up with a stake. You can give it to me, in fact. Yeah. You still have to get this card first. Yeah, get rid of the garlics. Yeah. yeah. Don't need the garlic. Yep. Good choice. Okay. Doodle doodle. -doo. Pass it to me? Yep. On the same turn. Well, and I will pass it. Should I protect the townie or go to the crypt and grab wooden stakes next time? <sighs> We're going to lose. This is no helping. I have to protect the townies, huh? Or we're going to lose. We'll be very close to losing. One, two. We'll lose three townies. Or, yeah, we'll lose three townies. <sighs> I don't know. It's up to you. No, I'll t well, I'll take a wound if I'm there, right? Yes. Or both of them will go? Only one. Only one? Yep. You can Either always way. use your... Get rid of your weapon to... Oh, I can move there and then... Slay, slay the demon? It. I can, yeah. Okay. That way you, we take one less wound. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about it. All right. Okay. That's yeah. all of our actions, right? No, so I yeah. have one less action. Oh, he's mm. got one more. Because it would have been yours. So I'm going to use the, my last action to search. Hopefully I got myself a stake. Can't discard the weapon <laughs> can't use it yet yeah. but next turn I can use you could give me the stake since it's my I'm the first I'm the first player He'll be the first this player. is true that way I can just try and win the game provided we don't lose right now mm -hmm. okay so let's go ahead and finish the last round hopefully of the game this is actually very close I thought we were doing really well uh, yeah, like, but now I'm nervous well, well we stopped trying so, okay. to go after the vampires the big bad the master so. activates first yep all vampires move um, and that actually They're doesn't, all that's engaged. actually yeah. pretty good. Okay. Um, and then we're going to, right, so this guy's sh done. the demon moves two spaces. Yeah. Uh, he's just going to unflip. Uh -huh. He's going to take out this and they are all going to eat this guy. Okay. And I'll rescue Squeezy. this one. Okay. All right. Okay. We're looking okay. 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 A little better than I thought. We only need to not take three wounds or... Have three townies die? So we... These all flip. And might we still need point. a stick if it doesn't go well. Yes. Us, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to obviously use my basic action. Yeah. To get rid of the stake in the holy water that Max has granted me the privilege to use. 
and then I'm going to reveal an event, and I need it to be either the I or the so not the onk. Yeah. Yeah. I always hate the onk. Pentagram. Yeah. 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 Oh, you've defeat. I've been you. That's not very nice He's and just, stuff. And the birthday disintegrate into dust. The oldest recorded vampire, the master, attempts to open the Hellmouth beneath Sunnydale to release the old ones and bring about the end of the world. But then the main character, Xander Harris, <laughs> comes and slays him, just like in the show. Predatory and, and aggressive. In other words, your typical male. On behalf of my gender, hey. Only because I'm there protecting you by killing all, like, hundreds of demons and vampires around and you. And Giles <laughs> is giving all of the materials like to do A something. good assistant does definitely help. But in the end, the only true mastermind <laughs> is able to fully comprehend the ability of defeating... I mean... Yes, you pulled a lot of stuff, and then you gave a lot of stuff to me throughout the game. Uh, you killed a lot of the things, and then my character just, like, he got to move... I got to do a lot of, like, weird little bonus actions. This thing was really nice, actually, the Orb of Nezla. Because mm -hmm. I never took any damage, so I just got to, ke I got to, I got to keep it. So whenever I searched or attacked, I could move. Yep. So it was like bonus actions, free movement. Um, a lot of fun. This is uh, yeah. pretty suspenseful. Uh, I, I was thinking the game was super easy to begin with, but it started. Yeah, it actually got. It started bumping. Building up more challenges. And this started becoming more useful. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Aren't you glad I? And there's you to keep it. And there's multiple yeah. different variations of the different play. There's an expansion. There's different bad guys that comes with. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff going a on with this game. A lot of replayability with we the only, characters yep, and bad guys. Even all the monsters of the week, we only go through three of them per game. Yeah. So, so there's a ton more. If you watch this video, if you like this video, share this video and comment on this video, you will have an opportunity to win a full dice set of metal dice. They're beautiful, uh, exquisite. I have used them daily for whenever I play Magic and other games. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy them as well. Maybe I'll give you a choice if you win. I uh, post it up on the YouTube video at the end of tomorrow. So, you know, make sure that you share the video out and give other people a chance to win. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and this video. I know it's a long one. It was a long video, longer than our last few weeks. But I wanted to show you guys a fun little game that I haven't had a chance to play yet. And uh, something that has an IP that is close to a lot of our hearts. Um, that being said, I appreciate you guys showing up here. Uh, join us on our live streams every six every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook, sometimes on Twitch. And then, of course, the day after on YouTube where I clean it up and make it um, even more watchable for those of you who want a quicker gameplay. Uh, that's pretty much all I got. Moonshell's being manufactured. We'll have an update tomorrow um, or today, depending on when you're watching this. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys, guys next time. time.